It's Coach Kothar from 92 Mesh Group. I'm excited to uh, bring this video to you from Coach Renfro from Davies County in Kentucky. Uh, it's the first in a three-part series of what we're calling the Bluegrass Tag Series. I hope you enjoy. This is Coach Renfro from Davies County High School here in Owensboro, Kentucky. Been an air raid coach for about the, uh, well, my entire high school coaching career. The last 15 years I've been an air raid coach. Went to the Tony Franklin seminar, loved it, fell in love with it from that point on. Uh, I've been able to be a coordinator, receivers coach, called plays for freshmen, JV, varsity level, helped integrate it to our middle school level as well. So a lot of background on the topic, and I like to share a topic that's dear to my heart, and that's tags. Coach has already talked a little bit about a couple things about tags, but I want to introduce you three, uh, three of our favorite tags here at Davis County that I really love. Uh, I, put them in, I live by them, die by them, uh, call them a couple times a game, and a lot of that is uh, due to self-scouting and scouting your opponents. I'm gonna talk to you about that. All right guys, the first route I wanna talk to you about, the first tag I wanna talk to you about is the COP route, which is corner post, all right? Uh, I, when I was taught to it the first time, it was a post, corner post, a PCP route. Well, we found out for our high school level kids, we don't have any 4-4 four, or four, 4-5 four, kids uh, running routes at our school. So we've had to uh, work that down to just a two-cut route, which is a, a post or a corner post, or sometimes we tag it backwards, a post corner. But we're going to talk about the corner post option of that. Uh, you can tag this onto any route where your receiver typically runs a corner route. All right, uh, I'm going to draw up smash for you. We call this 91. We'll mirror it to both sides. So... When, we're, when we are calling this play, this is because uh, I've been a booth coach for the last 15 years. Uh, been on the sideline for a year or so of that, but for the most part I've been a booth coach. And through a lot of scouting, watching your opponents, with huddle nowadays, guys, it's so easy to go in and get tendencies, all right? And tendencies are really best from the offensive side of the ball for yourself. You need to run those self-scouting reports. You need to go in after every couple weeks and run a report and see, what, uh, where am I calling smash at? Where am I calling mesh at? You know, what are the tendencies that I have inside the 10, inside the 15? And then, because they're running those same routes, those reports on you guys. Uh, I've seen those defensive guys, they work hard. They are trying to do everything they can to stop you, all right? So they're running those reports as well. And they know that when you get in a tight bunch set like this, say you got your Y and your Z, your X, your H, your Q back here, and your F, you're probably going to run some sort of mesh, right? So you're going to have a high route, uh, you're going to have some meshers underneath, you're going to have some kind of swing route to the flats. So you might run, uh, let's say you're going to run typically a little bit of Y mesh, you got a corner route, you got a guy meshing over here, a meshing over there, a swing route, some sort of shoot route out of the backfield, all right? That's your typical mesh play. And defenses know that when you get in this tight set, they're probably calling it out. Watch the mesh, watch the mesh. Your, your kids are probably like ours. They'll come to the sideline, coach, they know our plays. They're calling them out. That's all right. Because when they start thinking they know their plays, bam, we're going to hit them with one of these tags. And this is my favorite, uh, one of the great ones to compliment off a of mesh. So you've ran this same uh, concept here, 92, with the Y running the corner out a couple times. All right, you might have even tagged him into some sort of like a little flat breaking out route. So that safety, say they're running some cover two, you know, some sort of cover two against you right here. They're collapsing in here. They're looking for that mesh. And this strong safety is seeing that outbreaker, that outbreaker, that outbreaker. And then it's time to bam, you're gonna, you're gonna get him because he's guessing. And that's what this is all about, all right? So you're gonna have your receiver run out. I shortened it down. Typically we say like a five-step corner out, a six-step corner out, somewhere, you know, breaking that typically. We're going to break it down to like four steps. So we're going to get on the four steps. We're going to go two steps hard like you're running a corner out. So boom, stick that left foot in the ground. One, two, like you're running the corner out. And then you get two steps out there. You stick that foot in the ground, and then you get vertical back inside, inside to that post, that skinny post. So that's what it's really going to look like. All right, and this safety, we say that when that safety's in that back pedal and he opens to cover your corner out, he's beat right now because he's open, he's down that back pedal. As soon as he opens to chase that corner, we can cross his hips. You know, he, he's beat. All right, only thing he can do is whip his head around and try to get into a chase mode. And once he's chasing it, 
we're going to hit it over the top for a big, big play. All right, it's one of those uh, bang plays. All right, you're going to knock it out. So that's what it's going to look like. That strong safety, we're going to get a break off him, break it back inside of him. Coaching point on the cop route. All right, uh, kids get real anxious and they get to the route right here. They stick to. And then instead of wanting to get vertical, they'll want to bend it way over into here. All right? That's a no-no because this safety, he can get back and get to that and cover that. All right? So one of our coaching points is really to get vertical off of the cop route. All right? I'm going to throw in a play or two. I've got a couple good looks of cop route. I'll throw those onto the video, uh, splice them into there so you can see that. But this is what our cop route can look like. We can tag cop off of any outward breaking corner out, all right? So mesh is a great play to call off of. Smash, all right? Some of our biggest plays have been when we tag it off of smash. So we're gonna get in some sort of a set where we've got the Y here, uh, the Z, the X, the H, the F, all right? And we're gonna run typically, you know, some sort of a outward breaking hitch route, outward breaking hitch route here some kind of a corner out, and then boom, boom, if it's Y cop, all right? So you can flip them, you can get Z cop, whatever inside there, but you can get this, this safety gets held by that corner out, this safety is crossed over. The only way they could really get to it is if they're Tampa 2 in you, and they're dropping that mic way back, but if that mic can cover your receiver, drop it out like that, and then he's a Division One kid, and we don't see that many Mike linebackers you can drop out and cover receivers Tampa 2 like that. All right, and then in here you can either check through, swing, angle route, whatever. You run, run that angle route, that might hold that mic inside. But that's the cop route tag. And again, when do you call this? That's the other question I get a lot is when would you call this play? All right, I would call this after I've seen him break. It's again, it's probably a once, you know, once or twice a game tag. But when you call it, man, and it hits, it is a thing of beauty. It's one of the greatest, uh, prettiest looking routes when a kid can execute. And we've had some kids who got really good at executing it. And they're not Division I type kids, all right? We've had uh, maybe one, two Division II receivers come through here in 15 years. We had one just left last year going to Middle Tennessee State. Phenomenal player. You'll see him play quite a bit as a young kid down there. But this cop route is a great route. It's an easy throw for your quarterback. He's dropping, he can look. Now, uh, I know Coach talked the other day about how you want to still go through your progression. So our progression here would be, we're going to drop, look here, so maybe one, two, and then come down to here to three. All right, we wouldn't want to go back side because we're kind of getting it back over there. So that's kind of one, two, three, looking at that. But your quarterback can get good. If you've got a couple good ones and we've had a, a good one or two, they can get good on that drop. They can kind of just do that little shoulder twitch. All right, get to the top of that drop, boom, and then set their feet and throw that strike. Now that's the other thing your quarterback's got to realize. This is not a huge home run ball way over the top. This is probably going to hit him in stride like a two ball to us. A two ball to us is like a line drive with a little bit of, it's kind of like a driver, all right? It's not scolded. It's not like a screamer back at the pitcher, all right? This is one of those line drives that gets out into the gap. It's not a pop fly, all right? You're not throwing a pop fly way down there. You're throwing a two ball that's going to be thrown and caught somewhere right along that area. That way, nobody can get to it. So that's the cop route. Again, when do you call it? You, when you see those safeties getting greedy, all right? They're watching. You're watching that as a, if you've got a good booth coach, either you're calling plays from the booth and you got a guy out there with you, that guy got up there with you needs to know your tags and he needs to be watching certain things. If I were calling plays, uh, I would have my guy up in the booth with me saying, hey, Watch those safeties on these corner routes. Can we get them on cop? And we can tag cop on any of them. We could say H cop. All right. We could get into an early look. You all call it early. We call it trips right. You could get into some sort of a look like that and run, you know, a hitch, a sail, and some sort of a corner post action like that. You know, anything in there that where we would see a typical corner route, we can tag the cop route. And again, you're looking for these greedy safeties, and high school kids will get greedy because. Coach gets in their ear, and that's what I like. That's what I want to hear. I want to hear that DB coach screaming, saying, you know, you're getting beat on the corner, you're getting beat on the corner. If I can hear that, if I can see that happening, see that corner getting wider and wider and wider, real wide safeties, excuse me, safeties, real wide safeties, I'm going to call a cop right inside those wide safeties, and we're going to hit it. And when it does, it's six, I guarantee it.